Hey everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at three new things that are added to Laravel version 9.36. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this assert content method on the test response, and it is added by Tim McDonald. Let me show you that. First of all, let me just go over here in the web.php file and create a route test. And let me return this hello world from here. Or it can also be some other response that contains a string or view. Now, let me go to this example test within the test feature directory. And let me create this test content missing method. I have already created it. Now, here, let me visit this test route, okay? And it will have a response. And after that, in order to check if this response has the same thing, we need to do it like this before. So this assert same hello world and then response arrow content like this. And if you can see here the hello world over here and here is also the hello world. And now let me just run this PSP unit test. Then you can see this test is passing. If I just change anything over here, then the test will fail. But now in this update, we can do this in very simple way like this. We don't have to write it in a separate line. We don't even need this. This will also work, but these two can be done in a single line. So now let me again just do this PSP unit test. Then you can see here it is again passing. You can see here both of them are passing. Now let us move to the second tip, which is this add assert server error to the test response. This time there are not much changes in the Laravel. There are very few and minor changes and two of them are regarding test and another is regarding performance so this assert server error is now added for that let me go to the route and let me create another route here 500 error and let me just throw 500 error from here and now if i go here in the example test now let me create another method which is test 500 error and here i'll say response equals to get 500 this is the route name that is present over here and now I'll do response assert status 500. Previously, we had to do it like this. We had to hard code this 500 over here like this. And now if I just come here and PHP unit test like this, run it, then we can see here one test passing. But now instead of passing the 500 like this, we can do it like this assert server error, just like assert okay for the 200 response. Now, if I again come here and rerun the test, then you can see here both of the tests are passing now let us move to the third thing that has been added which is this makes blade component blazing fast for this i'll just show you over here whatever the things that is mentioned in the pull request and it is added by nuno maduro who is the core member of laravel the all the rendering of the blade components are almost twice as fast than before you can just see here and if you want to test it then you can just follow this instruction i'll be leaving the link in the des description so here before whenever we were just rendering the anonymous component it is about 52 percent faster you can see here previously it used to take this much time and now it is more than 50 percent faster similarly for the view components you can see here it is 39 percent faster you can see here 6.96 and this is 4 millisecond which is like this but even faster is this class inline components. You can see here it is 92% faster, which means if you are just returning the view from here or the rendering some data or returning some content that needs to be rendered, then you can see here previously it took the 66 millisecond and now it is 4.499 milliseconds, which is 92% faster. Similarly, there is for the dynamic components and dynamic components that renders inline class. For the anonymous class you can see here everything is very very fast and we need to thank nuno marudo for this this is very very huge performance improvement on the laravel and if you are hosting your laravel application in the production also then it will be very very useful and speaking of hosting i would like you to introduce to this video sponsor which is cloudways Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles Cloudways will take care of the server setup for you. And you can go live in minutes using the Cloudways. You can select any one of these applications like WordPress, Laravel, PHP, etc. And you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, AWS, 
Vulture, Google Cloud or Linode. And also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface. You can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways. And if you do so, you will get $15 as a credit. And you can use that $15 to set up a base server and it will last you almost a month, which means that you are getting one month free. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.